Mystery surrounding the death of a grade 8 pupil at Joy Gardens Primary in Tana, Umoja, Nairobi, has continued to deepen with the deceased family rejecting the report of an autopsy conducted Tuesday. Speaking outside Mama Lucy Hospital Mortuary, the pupil's parents faltered the post-mortem results, claiming the defendant's lawyers tried to manipulate the results. Joseph Wahungu has the details. Three days after being reported to have jumped to his death from the rooftop of his school in Umoja area, Nairobi County, the family of Wesley Njiru is crying foul over a post-mortem report released Tuesday. According to three pathologists representing the government, family and the school who conducted the post-mortem at Mama Lucy Hospital Mortuary, the deceased died as a result of a fall from a high surface, which resulted in internal bleeding. However, the boy's father and mother vehemently opposed the post-mortem results, claiming the death of the minor did not coincide with the autopsy report. That's one thing. The results were compromised because of one thing. If they, were, like, they wanted to be objective, they could have at least let the person who is leading the, the medical school here, she's a professor and all that, she was so rude to us, actually, even when we had briefing. And we, we objected, actually, from the word go. They also said there was no blood at the scene of the crime where the report stated the pupil fell from. The <clears throat> post-mortem, they said that there was blood on, it, on his clothes. But for me, like I saw him when he was laying there on the floor, there was no single drop of blood. So that we rule it out. However, lawyer Dunstan Omari, who is representing Joy Gardens Primary School, maintained his clients are innocent. Bila shak, wamuzo madatari watatu. Umedhihirisha kwamba hakuna lawama wenye shule na walimu wa shule wa katika mauaji. This as two directors of the school and three other people remain in custody pending a probe into the case. For Prime Edition, I'm Joseph Wahungu.